Oopsie daisy. Uh, forgot one more important part of this rant. So let's pick it up from here. All of this stuff is part and parcel of what I was referring to about the time invested. Here it wants us to download keys. Uh huh. If you have keys installed, you receive the updates. What if you don't want the updates? If you have too many photos, you will use too much space on your phone. We're going to delete them. How to transfer photos? Download and install SyncDroid. Well, <laughs> it, one more app, guys. Now here's the USB driver that was installed. Uh, excuse me. No, this is keys again. Nowhere have been, I been able to find a simple driver, and no nonsense. Download this, download it to your PC, plug in the phone, and now we have communication between the phone and the PC without all of the sideband stuff. Enable the USB mass storage. It just goes on and on and on. I hope this is making sense now. Oh, it, for it to work, the Galaxy S4 device, excuse me, needs to have BusyBox. <laughs> what in the world is BusyBox? And, of course, you can imagine. And this is just scratching the surface. This fellow here is, uh, I don't know why we can't hear him. Computer. There we go. Not currently working. Uh, mine still is not working, and I noticed yeah, this tell after me about it. Windows. All right, bye-bye. And here we have how to connect to Samsung Galaxy S4 to the PC. A graphical user interface. Well, I don't want that. I simply want to be able to use Windows Explorer, as I have been doing now, for months. Just months. So this is a little addendum. A-D-D-E-N-D-U-M-B, I believe it's spelled. And uh, just in case you wondered, who's yapping at you? Velvet Doberman, out.